But here we are once again, um, another Mountain Dew review. Uh, thanks for everybody to watch my last one. I know it was like 10 minutes long. We'll try to keep this one short. We only got one flavor uh, we're reviewing today. Coming to you uh, live from my, uh, I got four kids. I don't, I don't know how else to. Uh... So the other day we're at the grocery store and my wife, I obviously married up. So they got you something and comes out with this. Mountain Dew Voodoo. Didn't know this existed. We got three criteria that uh, we look at with a new Mountain Dew flavor. Uh, of course, there's uh, first is taste, emotion, and presentation. Well, you can see it says uh, this is mystery flavor right there. I don't really know what to compare it to. It's almost like Mountain Dew said, you know what? Uh, we give up. Uh, you guys tell us what this flavor is. I don't I don't know if this was an accident and they just said, you know what? Ship it. I'm skeptical if I'm doing the work for Mountain Dew. Obviously, if Mountain Dew makes it, I'm uh, probably going to drink it. Try it out and see if we can guess what flavor it is. I feel like I'm doing your work for you. Try this. Uh... Whew. Getting a lot. Uh, like a, it's very fruity, almost like cotton candy-ish a little bit. I'm really at a loss of uh, what this is. Pour it in there. Obviously a clear flavor. Uh, they obviously didn't want to give away what flavor it was or um, just said those sorry saps will buy this. Don't even bother putting a dye in it. And I did. Oh, that is, um, I like uh, sticks to your teeth. Man, yeah, I don't know what I'm getting. That's <laughs> it's almost too much. I'm just I'm picturing an accident at the Mountain Dew factory, and all the flavors got mixed up, and they said, you know what? You have mystery flavor, almost like cotton candy, is what I'm kind of getting. Not it's not a mystery flavor. It's guess what's not. Code red, voltage. I mean, pick your flavor. Obviously not uh, Baja Blast. I don't know what I'm getting, but can you have too much sugar in a Mountain Dew? I feel like you can, and they did it. I really don't get a Mountain Dew buzz, but I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm getting one here. I just, that's just, I can't stop drinking it though. It's like I want to know. Taste uh, is uh, interesting. I'm not, not a huge fan of it actually. Uh, not bad. Not, not disgusting, but not bad. So, uh, emotion here. Used, maybe? Too amped, too. Just the sugar, just, it's, it's like a lot. I think there's such a thing as too much Mountain Dew. We've reached it here with uh, Mountain Dew Voodoo. Just because my, my taste buds and my brain are not in connection here. Incongruence here, and I don't like it. It's frustrating. Presentation. Mountain Dew Voodoo. I mean, I like I like the play on words. I do like the color as being. I mean, if we're gonna do a mystery flavor, uh, might as well do just completely uh, almost clear. Uh, limited edition 2021. Uh, the Grim Reaper guy here. Uh, some spider web. Uh, I do think like, it's cool. You see, kind of like his the hood makes a little question mark there. I like the creativity. Uh, limited edition 2021. Um, I don't, I don't want to try the 2020 version. I'm too uncertain for me. I don't think, I don't think history is gonna look fondly on the uh, 2021 uh, edition of uh, the mystery flavor. To be honest, Mountain Dew. We don't need more surprises. Uh, people don't need uh, this uncertainty right now. As a Christian, I don't know if I'm allowed to drink this or not, uh, being voodoo, but I feel like it should have come out in Halloween. Uh, maybe would have fit uh, a little bit better. So not terrible with creativity. I just, I just feel like I'm uh, doing the work for you, Mountain Dew. Uh, try it for yourself. See if uh, you can figure out the flavor. Uh, Make sure to brush your teeth afterwards. It's pretty, pretty potent. But until next time.
Nah.